And welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Alright, so we're heading over to Ionia's house in this episode. Also, Kumtar is learning something new. Not really sure what she's learning at this point. It might be our first, like, Omega attack spell, but uh, it might be a bit too early for that. Good for you, Duster. Anyways, let's see if we can get take care of this thing before it explodes. We have... oh, uh, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We have two more turns. I don't want to use PP if I don't have to. Uh-oh. Thank you. Okay. We took care of it before I exploded. Anyways, I want to see what's up here. Ah, I really wish I could run. Seriously, who thought this was a good idea? I guess it's to represent the fact that, like, some big explosion of psychic energy is about to come out of you for a new spell or something, but it's just kind of annoying in terms of gameplay. Also, Kumtor needs some more uh, PP soon. I'll keep an eye on that. What do we got in here? Slugs! We have slugs everywhere. Great. Got some life noodles. Ooh, actually, life noodles are good. And a... Oh, striped collar. Okay, yeah, this was definitely worth it then. We're gonna take every single piece of equipment for Boney that we can get. Especially since, surprisingly enough, there aren't a ton of viable pieces of equipment for Boney. Like, outside of, like, one collar, you have to find all the rest of the collars. I didn't really realize that until I looked up a list of equipment for him. Also, this is going to be a very big battle. So big, in fact, that I'm gonna start using some fire. Uh, we're just gonna stick with Beta, though. They're slugs. But yeah, there are five of them, and only three can appear on screen at a time because... GBA. Fortunately, they're still slugs, so they're not even remotely a threat. Even when there are five of them. It's a shame only three enemies can appear on screen, though. It would be really cool if there was, like, a giant group of slugs, but nope. Couldn't really fit all the sprites on and make it look nice. You know what? Before we leave this room, Kumatora, learn what you're learning. What are you learning? Oh, wait. That's actually not bad. Honestly, PK Mag... Wait, where is it? PK Magnet isn't bad. That's a good way to restore a PP if you have, like, a group of enemies, but... Honest- oh. Speaking of a group of enemies... Oh, this is actually perfect. Alright, let's, uh, try it. Actually, I think it's under assist. No, it's not. Never mind. Is it under recovery, or is it- No, yeah, there it is. So basically, Magnet is... It draws in PP from enemies. Kumatar- or Lucas. Kumatar needed that for PP. But yeah, unfortunately the amount of PP isn't the greatest, but eh, some PP is better than no PP. We would have gotten a lot more if it weren't for the fact that Lucas killed it before Kumator could drain the PP from it. Oh well. Alright, so now that we have the ability to run again, I immediately ran to an enemy, great. Actually, can I just run? Nope. Oh, I need to heal up. Alright, so I just went the wrong way. That's fine. It's better just to face it solo. Also, is this the no, this is not the first time we've seen its derpy face. I did that completely on accident. But it worked out. Oh my god, the rhythm of the song is really quick. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, I remember you. A hefty head. This enemy honestly kind of creeped me out the very first time I saw it. It still kind of creeps me out. Like, yeah, that, uh, it's kind of unsettling to look at. I'm just going to try to get rid of it. 
And this one, I don't think we can play him on the pig mass either. I'm pretty sure this thing just naturally lives in this area. Like, this thing does not look like it was genetically engineered. Okay, kind of looks like it was genetically engineered. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, wait, no, it's PSI counter. Okay, so physical attacks only then. Got it. Also, this thing is surprisingly tanky. There we go. We definitely did heal up real quick, though. All right, let's move on. So how far are we from the uh, exit? Not too far. In fact, we're... Uh, yeah, we're not that far away from the exit. I do like seeing that smash attack, though. Also, these things don't have PP to drain. Great, that was a waste of a turn. But yeah, not every enemy will have PP to drain, unfortunately. Honestly, after a while, I just kind of stopped using Magnet. I use it for like a little while because, I don't know, it feels like it should be more useful than it is. Drain attacks in most RPGs just aren't that great, unfortunately. Some RPGs, they're kind of overpowered, but most of the time, they're not really worth it. Please tell me I'm not facing two of them. Nope. You know what? We haven't used Flash for a while. Let's Flash him. Let's also lower his... Yeah, you know what? No, we'll just do physical attacks. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would be an insta-kill. Nope. Oh, I'm out of PP for everything. Well, time to start punching. Actually, in Kumtora's case, she is you, she is the only one here who is literally punching enemies. Like, Lucas is hitting them with a stick. Duster is kicking them and Bodhi biting them. Kumatora is our monk. Also, Duster is really taking all the hits in this battle, isn't he? He'll be fine. He's over 100 HP. Well, he's at exactly 100 HP. Also, I know that music. Actually, no, before we head that way, we can't do anything there yet, because we have no way to get into the temple. We need to go find Ionia first. There's her house. Oh, actually, before we go to her house, uh... I don't think you have any new equipment for me, right? Yeah, no new equipment. Although a few pencil rockets for Boney wouldn't be bad. Well, actually, no, his inventory's full. Never mind. I'll be mostly on healing duty from now on. Anyways, let's go see our good friend Ionia. It's been a while. When was the last time we saw them again? It was like all the way back at the beginning of the chapter. Boney is a good boy. He is just the best boy. Who still does not know Shake. It's fine, he doesn't need to know any tricks. He knows how to use items, okay? Most dogs do not know how to handle high explosives, but Boney does. Also, yeah, I guess Ionia never met Duster, huh? Wait, have they met? I don't remember them ever meeting. But yeah, Ionia is, like, my favorite of the uh, Magipsies. They're just the nicest, and actually the one who's involved the most in the plot. Oh, right, I forgot about the pickles. We went through hell to get these pickles to you.
Also, that is actually really depressing, huh? That's literally their last meal. We got ourselves some uh, water of time. Alright, so time to head to the temple. But before we do that, I'm gonna do a little bit of prep work. Uh, hey, Mr. Saturn. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Why are you wearing a headscarf? But yeah, we got ourselves the Courage Badge back, and it turns out it's the Franklin Badge. Well, bye, Mr. Saturn. Not sure what he was doing all the way out here. But we got ourselves a Franklin badge. It's a badge that reflects lightning. That sounds like it could be useful. But yeah, I will actually be right back because I want to basically rearrange everyone's equipment and uh, try to clean things up a little bit before the next section because we're going to need it. So one moment. Alright, so I basically just healed up and rearranged my items. I also bought a few rockets for Boney. That's not Boney's inventory. And I I actually gave uh, Duster a couple of resurrection items because I just realized he didn't have any. But yeah, I think we're okay now. So let's go. Off to the temple to get the next needle. Hopefully this time we won't get screwed over, but eh, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, it's not like that they could be here waiting for us. Great. Fortunately, they can't get into the temple, because Ioni actually is one of the ones with the... probably the strongest defense system. Just vines people can't break through. You know what? Good on you, Ionia. But yeah, as long as we don't let them have the water of time, they can't get into that temple. So even if we lose here... Well, I guess if we lose here, they can just take our water. You know what, never mind, let's not lose here. Time to take care of some pig mass. Alright, so we don't actually want to go all out here because we're going to need our resources coming soon. But I do want to finish these guys off as soon as possible. Fortunately, they're nothing we haven't seen before. Oh, I forgot you have a shield. Darn it. Yeah, we're gonna need to take that. Ooh, nice. He's on fire. Fortunately, shields don't affect them if they're on... Er, shields don't really change anything if they're on fire. They'll still take the damage. Uh, do I even want to take the shield at this point? We might as well just break it. Yeah, I think we've already broken it. We're fine. And burn. Oh, that's actually bad. On the other hand, I am pretty good at the rhythm of this song. Surprisingly enough. Oh, I was going to say, why didn't that happen? But nope, he died. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, let's get Lucas healed up. We don't want to go... We don't want to finish this battle in bad shape, basically. Kumatora might need some heal. Eh, she'll be fine. And yeah, I do also want to make sure I conserve my PP. Because trust me, we're going to need all the HP and PP we can get after this. I think that bomb's about to blow up on Duster's face. Yeah, Lucas definitely needs to heal after this. Ah, we'll probably start throwing away some... Or not throwing away, but actually using some healing items. Oh, that actually went off. Not that it matters, but it went off.
But yeah, the reason we want to save our HP and PP is because we're about to face one of the hardest bosses in the game. Also, yeah, now that we have the Franklin Badge, guess what? That won't work on us anymore. Well, it won't work on Lucas anymore. We only have one Franklin Badge. Alright, let's do this. So, Sailor of the Masked Man, aka probably the battle I got stuck on the most when I first played this game. Alright, the first thing we want to do, though, let's get defense up on everyone. We need to buff and debuff. And then we want to get his offense down as much as possible. And, uh, Boney can start healing. I think he has a shield, too. Oh, I should have given more, uh, chicken. Whoops. Eh, we'll be fine. But we want to lower his offense a few steps just to get that offense down so it doesn't hit as hard. Because he hits hard. Like, really, really hard. I want to get another uh, defense up, stacked up, and maybe a bit more offense down. Actually, we might want to start debuffing his defense. Also, he attacks twice. But I think we should be okay. Let's get another defense up. Uh, let's start lowering his offense, or defense then. Yeah, I thought I gave him more grilled chicken than that. I guess not. Oh wait, that's right, I accidentally moved a couple just to give him some more uh, ro pencil rockets instead. Oh well. Alright, but I think it's about time we start going on the offense. Well, almost actually. I want Lucas to get up some shields too. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ow! Right. Let's get shields up on everyone. Kumatora, let's try to get his defense down a little bit more. I think we lowered his offense as much as possible. We'll try to make him cry. Uh, get yourself healed up, Boney. But yeah, he also has a lot of thunder-based... Oh, that didn't work. He has a lot of thunder-based attacks. Which could either be really good or really bad for us. Because the thing is, now that we have the Franklin Badge, all lightning-based attacks will reflect off Lucas. And only Lucas. So if he hits Lucas with it, it will reflect right back at him. If he hits anyone else with it, it can be really bad. Alright, time to go on the offensive. Oh, I think he also has a shield, actually. Oh, you know what? Let's get paralysis off Boney. But yeah, I think he starts off with a shield, so let's try to get rid of that. He can also, uh, he can cry. It'd be really good if we could make him cry. There we go. We don't want to rely too much on our own shields, though, because he can negate them. Like that. It's a waste of a turn, though, so... It's not completely worthless. I actually kind of want to get those shields back up. Also, he can use PK Love. Ooh, Kumatora might not survive this turn. Oh, wait, no, he's frozen. Okay. Uh, life up. Yourself. Defend. Defend. Actually, no, don't defend. Ah, I don't think I'm going to get this in time. Okay, got it. But yeah, he knows PK love uh, Gamma, just like Lucas. And he will spam the hell out of it. If we're, uh, we're, like, really unlucky. Okay. But I think we're okay now. Actually, a PSI... Uh, PSI Shield Omega would be helpful. You know what? Just for that, let's try to get one up. It, he might just dispel it, but whatever. Oh, yeah, I should have given you more healing items. For some reason, I thought you had more. I forgot, yeah, the pencil rockets. Hmm. Yep, 
You know what? Let's get Duster healed up too. We'll spend this turn just like recovering from that last turn. Meanwhile, just start throwing pencil rockets. But yeah, that's also with his offense debuffed and our like defense buffed. He hurts. I think I'm also a little bit under level for this part of the game, but whatever. Alright, back on the offense we go. Actually, uh, Lucas, why don't you heal up a bit more? Uh oh, here he comes. Actually, no, that's fine. Our defense is buffed up enough to, for us to actually be able to survive that. Especially Lucas, he's our tank. Somehow. Alright, I think we're in pretty good shape now until he starts spamming PK Love Gamma again. Also, why do you still have a Magian look? I should have probably thrown that away and gotten more healing items. And there's the shield killer. I figured that was coming eventually. Yeah, at this point it might not be worth putting up shields anymore. I do want to heal up Kumatora though. But yeah, he hasn't actually pulled out his strongest attack yet, which is kind of worrying me. It's not the beam, that's not his strongest attack. That's also not his strongest attack. I'm not sure if he- actually, yeah, I'm not sure if he'll be able to in this battle. We keep freezing him. I mean, I'm not complaining. I forget exactly how much HP he has. I don't think he's close to dead yet. Also, unfortunately, we didn't get crying on him. I know he's vulnerable to crying. Actually, you know what? Let's try one more time. Because if we can get him to basically start missing attacks, that would be awesome. There we go. Now he's crying. Through his mask. Somehow. Actually, yeah, wouldn't the mask kind of protect your eyes? Okay, good. He's just using Alpha now. But like I said before, he can definitely spam Gamma. I've seen him do it before. It's kind of rare, but he will do it. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Darn it. Actually, Lucas is also start, uh, starting to get a bit low. Heh. <laughs> Made you hit yourself. But no, he's actually not using his super big attack for some reason. That's kind of worrying me. Also, maybe I should use Gamma for that. Also, yeah, see the power of basically crying. Oh, you're out of PP, actually. Uh, we should have some PP healing item for you. Yep. Have some pudding. Lucas might also need some pudding soon. Please hit Lucas. Keep hitting Lucas with that. I'm okay with this. I am perfectly fine with you just reflecting thunder off Lucas. Darn it. Also, yeah, crying is finally being helpful for me. Normally it kind of sucks whenever I use it, but not this time. There we go. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it usually is. So basically he has one big attack that can pretty much one-shot any party member. But... Fortunately, he never used it. It's big, like, thunder attack. Overall, that went... Other than that one time where he killed half the party with a PK uh, love, that went relatively smoothly. I'm pretty sure he has that one in this battle. 
And obviously if he hits Lucas with any thunder attacks, that's good, because they reflect right off him. But yeah, how do you like that, masked man? But man, honestly, that's probably one of my favorite battles in the game. Just because of how intense it can get. But yeah, now that we've actually chased them off for once, uh, we should have a clear shot at the needle. Also, I forget if they ever mentioned this in-game, but I'm pretty sure the reason that basically Dust- or not Duster, uh, Flint's house was always safe from thunder attacks is because he kept the Franklin badge there the entire time. At least that's my theory. After all, if you have something that reflects lightning, that would probably keep you safe from the enemy thunder attacks. There we go. We killed all the vines. Okay, now I feel kind of bad. We aged all the vines to death. But, time to pull the six needle. So what, that's three for us and three for them. Actually, wait. Yeah, it's three for us and three for them. Man, Ionia, you actually went all out with your needle temple design. Oh my god! Uh huh. Kumatora, are you okay? Well, Kumatora just learned statistically the strongest spell in the game. So yeah, Kumatora can just destroy anything with that. Well, not everything. Honestly, PK Star Storm in this game isn't that great compared to like Earthbound, but still. She learned a new spell, and I think it's time for us to pull this thing. Actually, can I go? Do I have to do it from up here? No, I don't. Bony. All right, time to pull this thing. And with that, Lucas also learns his most powerful spell in the game. And we get Ionia's memento.
All right then. So now we just need to find the very last needle. And we have no idea where it is. Great. Is that... But yep, time to save. Uh, we'll save here. But, that's the end of Chapter 7. And that's a limo. Huh. So, they just mentioned Porky, aka Pokey from Mother 2. So, yeah. We're about to get all of the links from this game in Earthbound. Okay, fine, we'll get inside the limo. But yeah, basically his original name was Porky, but they translated it to Pokey in Earthbound. But yeah, let's, uh, see what's going on with Porky, then. Also, yeah, this is the point of no return, by the way. There is no going back after you start Chapter 8. Not that there's really anything to go back for. There aren't a ton of, like, optional side quests that, uh, are in this game. Also, yeah, this limo flies, by the way. Like all limos. Alright then. This thing is a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. But yeah. I think one thing's here, so uh, next time on Let's Play Mother 3, time for Chapter 8, the last chapter of the game. It's quite the doozy of a chapter, though, so we're gonna be here for a while. So, till then.